Let's draw the Lewis structure for lithium bromide. Now lithium is on the left-hand side of the staircase. It's a metal. And bromine is on the right-hand side of the staircase. It's a non-metal. When a metal and non-metal combine, you get an ionic compound, which means they are not sharing electrons. There's going to be a transfer of electrons from one to the other. Let's start with lithium. Lithium is in the first column, alkali metals, group one, and brings one valence electron with it. Get it? Column one, one valence electron. There it is with its one electron. That's the Lewis structure for atomic lithium. Bromine is in column 17, which we say has seven valence electrons. So there's my BR, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Now, bromine wants eight electrons around it. That's what would give it a full valence shell, octet rule. And lithium wants to give away its one electron because then its outer shell would be empty and so the real outer shell would be the one below that, which is full. Anyways, lithium wants to give it away, and bromine wants to take it. So that electron is moved from the metal to the non-metal, and you're going to get two ions out of that. Get it? Ionic compound. Lithium is going to be drawn without its one electron. It gave it away, remember? And so without one electron, it becomes an ion, that's what the square brackets are for, with a charge of plus one. Bromine, on the other hand, gained one electron. I'm going to draw the eight electrons around it. See, it was seven, now it's eight. It's an ion, so it gets square brackets as well. And it has one extra electron compared to how it started, so it gets a minus one charge. This is the complete Lewis structure of lithium bromide. Beautiful. Best of luck.